do either of you have kind of a, a personal experience maybe from the past few months or something that just really strikes you as an experience to share of that feeling of owning the gods and goddesses or that like that really connecting to them within you um, that you you'd be willing to share with our audience um, just sort of an experience of what that feels like and and how you can use that in your life like how it's been beneficial to you right um, I can speak to something that I, I really didn't expect um, to happen. I was in India with Dr. Pillai and he was very much into this topic. So um, when people hear, for, hear about it um, on videos and whatnot, it's because he's been processing um, other, he's been processing usually a topic for a while and diving deep into it. And so that's the really cool thing about mystery school is that you go on the journey with Dr. Pillai as he is opening new channels of um, information for himself from wisdom, from the, the, the divine beings and from the universe. And so he was going, he was, he was really into this process of owning the gods and goddesses. And um, something, something came over me <laughs> to ask for a mantra to in, incorporate a particular divine being into my being. And um, immediately after I did that, I got very scared of, of what that could look like. And, and I backtracked real quick and was like, nah, that probably is not a really good idea. But the, the being, the, the channel, the person I was speaking to was like, oh no, you can't take that back. You, this is done. And I was like, oh no. So once I got a, uh, that happened and then I received the mantra, I started chanting the mantra. I only started chanting the mantra after receiving Dr. Pleiss blessings for it. Because I said, I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. And he said, okay, just wait. And then maybe a week or so later, he said, okay, start chanting the mantra. So I did. And then um, and nothing was happening. Like I didn't know really what to expect, but he kept bringing it up. He's like, you, you know, need to go to temples for this being. You need to be chanting all the time. You need to be listening to the, you know, um, chants as well as chanting it yourself. So he was giving guidance. And I know it was also his empowerment. Like, I don't feel like anything would have happened without that, to be perfectly honest. So, um, so fast forward, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half. And I was like, nothing's happening. You know, I'm just still feeling like, I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but Dr. Pike kept bringing it up. And I was like, oh my gosh, what if it never happens where the divine, you know, this, this being comes through me and, and I'm, I disappoint him. Right. So all these things are going through my, my negative human mind. Um, and then one day, uh, in a group, it was actually during the Maruga trip, where there was all these uh, people there. There was the, the, the divine channel who gave me the mantra was also there. And, um, and he called me, he, he was speaking in Tamil and then all of a sudden I heard the name of the being that, um, that I asked to have incorporated into me. And then I was like, uh-oh, so I didn't know what was going on. And then um, later he, the, this channel called me up to, to like come before him. And I got really scared. I was like, oh no, there's, you know, there's nothing happening. I don't have, like, it's just, it's just me in here. There's no, there's no, <laughs> nothing's going on. So I, I did, I walked up to him and, and he was like, no, I'll go back. And I was like, oh, thank God. Right. So then I went back and I was just waiting. And then all of a sudden this energy started coming through my body, like an electrical force that I was at first I was like, oh, I can control this. And I just, you know, kind of sitting back and trying to, relax and then it, I couldn't control it. There was this literal electricity going through my whole body. And this, I could feel the, this being, the being that I've been chanting to, the being that I've been praying to um, become alive. And once that, that force became un, um, untamable in the sense that uh, now this energy was so present, the, the human in me couldn't resist it. And that's what I had prayed for because I thought, I don't want to, I don't want to have to have, I don't want to pretend I, you know, I want it to be so real that it's unquestionable to myself and that, that this being is, is in my body, that this being is here, that this being is guiding. And, and that's what happened. There's this energy came through um, and I was not able to have any connection to really controlling it, like I said. And um, a beautiful experience occurred and the divine being was very much present. And, and then afterwards I kind of, you know, then I 
came out of it a bit and was able to get back into the body and integrate that energy. And ever since then, um, it's never been quite so intense where it's been this kind of up, <laughs> uprising, this quick and, and furious uprising of energy. But now when I do the chanting and when um, the time is right, I guess when the divine being wants to come, um, they, he will. And then I'll get a message or I'll get um, some, I'll get an experience. And this has been an incredible thing. I never thought that this, you know, that this would happen to me. I never thought that, um, that, yeah, that this was possible, but I, but it, it, re in my opinion, it really is only possible because of the experience with Dr. Ply, because of having, um, a, a, a master empower and allow and guide this process. And this is what we get in mystery school because mystery school is a small number of people. He knows, um, you know, he, he, I, he looks at people's names. He, he knows how many people are in the program. He brings to life the energy of mystery school in a way that you don't get in other programs. And this is the closest thing you can get to being guided by him in this, um, in, a, in, a, in a personal way. And when I say personal, I don't mean he's going to call you up on the phone. I mean, it, he's, gonna, can, he's gonna call you up on your soul <laughs> and, can, and, and, and activate something in you. So, um, so that's my experience that I want to share and how profound it is because I know that Dr. Pillai's energy and power was behind the entire process. And that's, and that's what we get in mystery school. Thank you.